Go down the road. So how many of you took operations management? Okay, do you guys remember what's aggregate planning? Operations management? Anybody? No? Oh, well. Okay, so aggregate planning basically is like the, like the master plan, a uh, schedule plan to decide how many um, how many units of product we are going to produce. And from there, every month, okay? So from there, we can decide whether or not we need um, extra workers, we need materials, you know, whether or not we need to um, hire people, extra people like during the holiday season, a lot of um, retailers start to hire um, the temporary, you know, workers who help with the, the holiday seasons. So, so this is a little bit similar to that. And this is to help us to understand um, or to decide how we are going to um, manage different things. So in the, in everyday planning, there are several models. I forgot the exact terms, but there are models where uh, I think Chase, Chase model is where we want to produce similar amount of um, product every month. But when we have high season, let's say for Christmas or Thanksgiving, we will have to make those product, let's say TV, if we're making TVs. Usually people buy TVs on Black Fridays or you know, for holidays. So, so in December, November is a high season, but we are not going to produce more in September, October. Instead, we still produce, we produce similar, we produce a um, similar level. So like in from January, we will produce more than what we need in market. Okay, and then February. So we kind of accumulate some um, inventories for the high season. So that's one strategy. Another, so for that strategy, we will have to pay um, the inventory cost because we are making those products few months in advance so that our production will be stable. And then another strategy, we would um, just produce what's enough for the coming month. So in that case, when in the low season, we don't need to produce that much. So what they do is they uh, the factory might need to fire people, okay? They, but then when we have high season, before the high season, we have to re we have to hire extra employees. So for that, our inventory costs will be relatively low, but then we have to deal with firing and hiring, okay? So this is what the, this model is going to help us to decide <clears throat> what are we going to use, okay? and how, you know, how are we going to uh, make the decision? So in this case, we have some uh, um, known data. So like um, in line four, we have initial inventory of shoes. So initially we have 500 pairs and the initial number of workers, we have 100. Uh, regular hours per worker per month is 160 hours. And the maximum overtime is 20 hours per month. So if we need to hire new employee, it costs 1600. And if we are going to fire them, it costs 2000. Um, the regular wages per month is 1500. So they work 16, 160 hours, 1500 divided by 160. So one hour is like, I think nine, is it $9? I have to, yeah, about $9. So let's, a little over nine. yeah, so a little bit over nine. And the overtime, they pay a little bit more, 13. This is outdated because we know now the minimum wage is 15. So the raw material cost is $15. Holding cost, that's the inventory cost per month is $3. And then the labor hours, it, it, it would take us four hours per labor. 
to produce one pair of shoes. Okay, so <clears throat> so we need to fill out some of the um, stuff, and then we need to um, decide um, how how are we going to hire or fire different workers. Okay, so let's see what I what we are supposed to do. So when we so we need to fill out some of this first okay so um we are going to decide this this will be our pink area where you know we are going to maybe hire or fire people okay so how many we're going to hire how many we're going to fire and then after hiring and firing this is what we have okay so um so first thing first, so the workers from previous month, they will be equal to the information here. This is the initial number of workers, okay? And then this, is, this will be left blank, but then this will be equal to whatever we have plus, the number we are going to hire and then minus what we're going to fire. Okay. And then the second month will be equal to the previous um, workers available after hiring and firing, right? So for this one, we can just scroll it over. So I always, like I told you guys, I always double click on whether or not this is, you know, correct. <clears throat> and then for this one, we also, we can just scroll it over. And then I can also double click. See, it's uh, in the right place. regular hours available. So the regular hours available <clears throat> will be the total worker we have times how many hours? We have 160 hours. Oh, but we do need to put a dollar sign here because we're going to drag it over, right? So we need to um, put a dollar sign there. Okay. And then the overtime will be similar times the maximum overtime hour we have also a dollar sign. Before I forget, or maybe you guys will forget too. Next week, no class because I, I will be gone. Next Tuesday, also no class, the following Tuesday. So when we come back, it will be, and then it will be um, Thanksgiving. So when we come back, it will be, um, come the mouse over here. It will be the 29th, okay? December 29th. So, so we can, how come there's nothing? Oh, I forgot to press enter before I talk to you guys. So I need to press enter. Okay, and then uh, you can you can drag it over one by one, or you can highlight both, and then just drag it over. And then I always double click on um, whether or not it stay in the right place. Double click, okay, so that's correct. 
So maximum overtime labor hour available. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Sorry, I made a mistake. So this should be here, sorry. So this should be here. This is a maximum overtime available. And then we actually need to decide whether or not or how many hours of labor uh, overtime we want to use. Sorry about that. So we need to add one more constraint here. <clears throat> okay, so this has to be less equal. Then the total um, available hours. And then total hour production will be equal to this plus this. I'm going to click again. So total hour available will be the overtime labor hours we use plus the regular hour available. Yeah. How did you think the maximum labor time would be? It was the 100 times the, the 20 hours. Let me, let, me, let me click it here. The 20, and then, yeah. Mm Okay, so um, this is, this should be, this should be, um, let me think. This should be, Deleted. So this should be um the um also a variable. Okay. So we cheat it. And then our but we can only produce within our capacity. So our capacity will be decided by um the labor hour. Okay. So the capacity will be equal to this total hours we will have divided by four hours. So for four hours, we need to put in dollar sign. So this one, we have like multiple um, variables. The, uh, the uh, overtime labor hours used. So we're still going to go to that. Overtime, the pink one? Yeah. That should be decided by computer. So it's blank. Okay. So, so that's pink. That yeah. So the computer will decide by, you know, how we can um, hire, fire people and then, um, 
and then and then considering the um is it the all the cost and then they will decide how many so the inventory will be equal to that's our original inventory Original inventory is 500 plus the production. So the first one is different. So the first one should be whatever we had before plus what we are going to produce, okay? And we want it to be greater or equal than the demand. Ending inventory will be equal to the inventory after production minus this. This will be the ending inventory. But then this one will be the ending inventory plus the production. And then this one we can drag it over. Is it okay? Okay. So the number will look weird because we haven't filled out all the blank yet. Yeah. So hiring cost, what will be the hiring cost? Equal, where's the hiring? Um, here, and then let's put a dollar sign times how many people we are going to hire this term? If I'm lazy enough, I should put a, I should put dollar sign in front of just B. So they want to drag it down, it will go to the next. Yeah, like because these are um. Well, some of these, uh, this firing is the next one and then regular um, worker. Regular salary, yeah. So if I drag it down till regular time wages. Even overtime is. Overtime? Overtime. Overtime is, but the next one is not. Yeah, the next one is here. So overtime, we can't. So for, for this one, we can just drag it down and then drag it over. Let me, let me double check. So this is this one, the wages times this, yeah. And then this one is whatever we fire times this, yeah. So let me show you so we can do this.
Okay. Any questions? So overtime, what is overtime? Overtime equals the overtime hours here times um times overtime wages. And then we need a dollar sign here. So it would be this one double click, this overtime times this, yeah. And then raw material, oops. Raw material will be, what is it? I, I'm confused about the new, um, new Microsoft system. Yeah, so raw material will be um, the raw material fifteen dollars prepared. Did you also put a dollar sign times how many pairs we're going to produce here? Okay, so just drag it over. So holding cost should be equal to the ending inventory times the holding cost prepared shoes. Also need a dollar sign. And then we just drag it over. Okay. And then the total, you know, sum of this. To do and this is and I'm going to just add just for my personal um like checking to check if eventually those two are the same okay. so you can either use this or this let's just use this as your um op optimal solution like to um wait to put okay let me just put it so we want to minimize the cost okay but there are some um some constraint we also need to put in later on. Okay, ready? Everybody ready? So what should we do? Um, solver. So we want to minimize the cost, just here, this cell, right? Minimize it by changing. So what you do is you 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 press control. Press control when you are selecting. And you can select four different sets of variables, changing variable cells. I don't know how it will work on MacBook. Do you have you don't have a MacBook? Yeah, so. I'm still learning. I have already had MacBook for 15 years. I still don't know some of the stuff. Yeah, especially on Excel. Yeah, it's a little bit difficult. Sometimes when you use MacBook to run solver, the answer will not be the same as the PCs. So that's the part I don't understand either. So our constraints. So everybody were able to select the four changing cells. Okay, and then let's add. So one constraint is the, um, wait. Okay, the overtime hours cannot exceed 
you know, the 20 hours per employee. Okay, so less equal. And then the production um, uh, shoes produced should be less equal than, you know, whatever we are uh, allowed. But we do want to have inventories that's enough for our forecast demand. Okay. And then we should, we want to have the, the, the um, employee will hire, buyer, you know, as integer. In, in some case, actually we don't have to, like in some cases, if you can hire temporary um, employee, you can put hours. So it will be, um, it will be okay. But in this case, we want it to be integer and so does the shoes. We want it to be integer. So let's see what we have. Ready? Uh, so yeah, so this is the answer. <laughs> okay. So we are going to fire seven people in the first month and keep them and then fire another 43 in month three. And then we have 50. So month four, we have like relatively small demand. So, but let's, let's, we can change. Let's, let me just change it just for fun. So if the demand is going to be 7,000 in the fourth month, okay, let me run it again. You guys don't have to, so everything, I don't have to change anything. I just need to solve it. You see here, it will make a little bit different. So instead of buyer, we hire people and then we will pay for the inventory cost because we have extra inventory and then we try to sell it in the fourth month. Okay, any questions? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, okay. No, 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 no problem. Let me change it. What was the original? Is it 1000? Right? Yeah. Okay. So solver, so minimize the cost, okay? And the changing cells are the pink three, like four lines, three areas. So you have to press control. And then the, um, the worker we hire and fire should be integer. The shoes we produce should be integer. And then whenever you see this sign, above and below, okay? This one less equal than this, this one less equal than this, and then the inventory should be greater than the demand, okay? And, and that's it. And you need to click the uh, non-negativity thing, make this, yeah, otherwise when we minimize, stuff if we didn't click click that it will be zero yeah so south you got zero in what no but now is is your total cost the same yeah then that's fine yeah so the ending inventory, yes, it should be, it might be zero somewhere. Like here, they have inventory because they will have a little bit higher demand and they don't want to go like go through the hiring, firing again. So they keep some employees and then eventually they fire them mm -hmm. in month three. Okay. Did you guys see the news about the, what is the, the Bitcoin platform, trading platform went bankrupt? This guy saying something. He was famous because I keep seeing his, like the video about him. He had 40 billion um, value just today is Thursday, Tuesday. And then Wednesday, boom, 
become zero because yeah because they don't they they they, they did something so it's a uh, what is it the t is a tfx let me let me let me check what is oh wait no but we want business so uh ftx this guy have you guys no he i saw a lot of his video like people were saying like he actually donated a lot of money to charities when he was rich. Mm -hmm. And then now, yeah, it, it was sad. Like he just, you know, went bankrupt. Yeah. I don't know if he, do you think he will commit suicide? <laughs> yeah, me neither, but it's, mm -hmm. it's scary. Yeah, so um, any questions? Wow, Dow went up to 900 points. Yeah, so because the inflation rate today is 7.2, it's lower than expected. So only a few points, less than 1% lower than expected. But okay, any questions? If not, enjoy your um, Thanksgiving. Don't forget to come back next to, uh, I don't even know when, November um, 29th. Okay. Hmm? Yes. Yeah, I'll be I'll be in a conference and then you know I won't be back until Tuesday afternoon. Twenty uh, second afternoon. And then um thanks to you. Thank you. Me and